all right guys uh, this is another video in the topic of ship stability and today we'll be focusing on calculation of areas using simpson's rule and particularly focusing on simpson's second rule so if you've been watching my videos i have made uh, previously the video on simpson's first rule uh, simpson's rules are very popular among mariners and naval architects because they can be used to calculate the area volume and geometric center of a space enclosed by a straight line and a curve all right in which equidistant points are chosen along a straight line also called the axis and the distance between them is called the common interval h each of these points from each of these points the perpendicular distance to the curve is measured off and called the ordinates so the ordinates in this case are a b c d e f and g and the simpsons uh, there are three simpsons rules i have previously discussed simpson rule one i'll provide you with a link to that video in the description section below this is simpsons rule two or simpsons second rule uh, and the formula for simpsons second rule is area equals 3h by 8 multiplied by the sum of the products so how do you get the sum of the products you write down the ordinates a b c d e f g then you use something called the simpsons multiplier for simpsons second rule uh, can be used if there are four ordinates seven or ten ordinates if there are four ordinates the simpsons multiplier are one three three one if there are seven ordinates the simpsons multipliers are one three three two three three one as shown in this case here the product of each of these will give you the product here and then the sum of the products in this formula is used to calculate the area all right so let's take a couple of examples to understand how this all can be put into practice so question number one you have to find the area of a ship stake 99 meters long whose half breadths so this is a keyword half breadths at equal intervals from forward are the ordinates are given to you then accordingly so you have to find the area of the ship stake which is 99 meters long now you have to remember why this word is a keyword half breadths whenever you see half breadths you have to remember that the area that you find by the simpsons formula you have to multiply it by two so you have to twice the area because the breadth given to you is only half the breadth so if to have if you have to find the whole area you have to use the full breadth so you have whatever area you find you always multiply it by two so if you see the formula above here the formula says is 3h by 8 multiplied by sum of products whenever you see half breadths you multiply the whole thing by 2 in case of half breadths all right whenever you see half breadths in the question that's what you do all right let's put that into practice now so this is what it should probably look like i have written down the ordinates here these are the vertical ordinates again this drawing is not to scale so don't take it uh, seriously in terms of scale this is just to explain you how it should be visualized the ordinates are given to you the length of the ship stake is 99 meters so to find the equal intervals which is h just count the number of intervals 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 intervals are there so divide the total length by the number of intervals which is 99 by 9 which is equal to 11 meters that gives you the h in the formula then simply write down the ordinates write down the simpsons multipliers in this case there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 ordinates so you can use the simpsons rule too whenever there are 4 7 or 10 ordinates so there are 10 ordinates here if there were 4 ordinates the simpsons multipliers would have been 1 3 3 1 but because uh, or if it was 7 it would have been 1 3 3 2 3 3 1 but because there are 10 ordinates you will use 1 3 3 2 3 3 2 3 3 1 as i have shown in the working then multiply each one of them with each other so multiply the ordinate with the simpson multiplier and you will get the product all right so you can check the values when you're working it out and those values should be matching the values that i have put up here once you get all the products just add them up together to get the sum of products all right again you can do it yourself and match the value with the one that i am showing you here so the formula is 3h by 8 but in case of half breadths is 2 multiplied by 3h by 8 this is because of the half breadths right 
so h we know is 11 so 2 3 by 8 11 is the h and this is of course the sum of products put the values together and you should be getting the area as 1053.113 meter square area is always in meter square just like volume is in meter cube all right let's take the second question the second question is a bit different that's why i've chosen it so in this case you have a ship's water plane is 90 meters long again half breadths are given to you at equal intervals and the coordinates are given to you in the question what you have to find a is the sea water tpc and b is the o area coefficient now if this is the first video you're watching in the videos of ship stability do not do so because i have made a number of videos in the area of ship stability i'll provide you with the links to all those videos below uh, because in this video i'm assuming that you've been watching those videos or you have a basic knowledge of ship stability it's only then you should be watching these advanced videos of ship stability um, because i'll assume that you are familiar with a lot of these terms like tpc and area coefficient and and the rest all right so this is only about simpson's rule too and that is what my focus is on all right so to find the seawater tpc and area coefficient first let's find the area as we would using simpson's rule 2 so simpson's multipliers for rule 2 are written here there are 10 coordinates so we will use uh, 10 1 and the 10 rule that is 1 3 3 2 3 3 2 3 3 1 the ordinates are listed here as given in the question multiply each one of them when you multiply each one of them you get the product in each case all right make sure you do the multiplication yourself and match the values as i have shown here once you get the product add them all together to get the sum of products all right then because they are half breaths you will again multiply it by 2 then the rest of the formula is the simpson's formula for rule 2 3h by 8 where h is as we have calculated above we haven't calculated h yet so as above there are 10 ordinates that gives us 9 intervals the length of the ship stack is about 90 meters so h will be 90 divided by 9 which is equal to 10 meters so this 9 is the intervals as you saw above and this is the total length right so area becomes 2 times 3 by 8 multiplied by h this is h here and this of course is sum of products you get the area is 1057.5 meter square all right once you get the area you can calculate the tpc so the formula for tpc and this is c in sea water is area by 100 multiplied by density in sea water area as above 1057.5 divided by 100 multiplied by the density of sea water which is 1.025 will give you the tpc 10.84 tons per centimeter for those of you who don't know what TPC is, TPC stands for tons per centimeter immersion. That is the weight that uh, can be used to sink or rise the ship by one centimeter. The second one that we have to find is the area coefficient. And the formula for that is water plane area divided by length and breadth, length by breadth of the vessel. Here the breadth is of course the greatest breadth. Okay, it should not be depth, it should be breadth. My mistake. Alright, I'll erase this. So you guys don't get confused it should be the greatest breadth. by greatest means we mean uh, look at the values of the ordinates so when you look at the value of the ordinates the highest value is 8.5 meters all right these are half breaths so if that is the highest half breath so the total breadth or the highest breadth will be 8.5 multiplied by 2 so in this case greatest breadth will be 8.5 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 17 meters all right because this is the highest breadth or highest half breadth all right from the ordinates given from the ordinates given so whenever you do that that's what you have to do you have to choose the highest half breadth and then multiply it by 2 get to get the greatest breadth so water plane area is from one above that is 1057.5 90 is the length and breadth is the highest breadth which is 2.2 by 8.5 all right so you could have put 17 there it would have made this no difference and if you put the values together the area coefficient is 0.691 all 
all right so this is uh, another video that i have made on the simpsons rule this particularly focused on simpsons rule 2 and uh, the next video will be a combination of simpsons rule 1 and 2 and then the subsequent video will be on simpsons third and last rule to calculate the area all right guys all the best with your studies and thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching please let me know what you think about these videos through feedback i'll see you soon with my next video bye guys